What? Where have you been? Where have I been? Why are you asking me that? Where have you been? Oh, I've been the one gone for like a month? Well, hi everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ron, 2099. So, the first part of this video is going to be kind of addressing where I've been. I have usually haven't taken this long of a break. It's been a couple months. A couple months. Just a tad bit. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. And uh, I also want to uh, talk about the new Halloween Kills movie, because I got some thoughts on that. So the first half of this video will be where I've been and what I've been doing. Uh, so skip to this time code if you just want to watch the Halloween Kills review. I got some strange thoughts on it, if you want to see those. So first off, I've been a little under the weather, in terms of sicky sick. I've been a little sicky sick, and also my schedule has completely changed from last year. Last year was kind of do my normal day-to-day -day work stuff until like four-ish, and then I would have all the time in the world to shoot videos, edit videos, make them, upload them, do all that stuff. Now I end at 5.30, and then I immediately go to the gym, work out, come home, and have that much time to have like, you know, a couple hours before I gotta go to bed because I'm tired. So I'll usually watch a movie, or I'll write a script, and yeah, so it's really just put YouTube on the back burner. I still have been making videos, I still plan on releasing the Justice League Dark Stop Motion by this Halloween. I have a couple other ideas of brewing, um, in the good old doggy doggin'. Um, but yeah, it's just been hard, man. Um, <laughs> also, I find that... It's just been getting harder, man, because there's not much stuff going on right now. I mean, after the Suicide Squad, everything for me kind of died down, because we didn't have any Marvel TV shows, we didn't have any DC TV shows, you know, now we have Doom Patrol Season 3 or something, whatever new season just came out, and then we have, um, you know, Peacemaker coming out, and we have Eternals coming out, but then after Shang-Chi, which I was going to do a review for I didn't feel, I don't know, I just haven't felt like making videos recently. I think that's also because I just haven't found what I want to do yet. I want to move more into reviewing film and talking about comics than action figures. Mainly because it is a little hard right now, because I just, I don't know, I haven't seen too many action figures recently that made me go, oh, I need that. Um, except for, uh, picked up, picked this guy up at Comic Con, Icarus. I'll talk about him soon. I'll talk about him soon. Um, and plus, I've been more... I've been writing more scripts, as it is. I am really into a mood where I want to start really taking directing seriously. So I've been writing some scripts. I uh, hopefully will get to share some of the ideas for you. Um, but yeah, I really hope to turn those into a reality in my life. And... Uh, I've gotten serious on them, especially one of them, my Dracula movie, which has always been very near and dear to my heart, um, and now I think I am closer than ever to actually having something that is good. So yeah, I've just been busy, so I do have plans for the rest of October, um, I plan on doing a couple little movie reviews, TV show reviews, so you can see I'm doing one right now, but I plan on for the next four days to do videos every day, because... It's Halloween season. Uh, Justice League Dark will be released on Halloween. I think that's going to be fun. I think that's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, it's just been a real busy, chaotic time. kind of feels like I'm always doing something um, in terms of writing, acting, making, shooting, or sleeping. <laughs> so now the part that you probably were waiting for, the Halloween Kills part of this review. Um, so, Halloween Kills was kind of, I don't know, to me that was like the all-nice, a goofy slasher movie coming out this October. Sweet. And I was kind of like, I just thought of it like that, man. I, uh, I was really bored one night, just on my couch, just eating pasta, and I went, you know what, the new Halloween movie's out, fine, I'll watch it. I'm not the biggest Halloween fan. I like the first one a lot. I like the second one a lot. I kind of like the 2018 one. I don't know. It just kind of felt too much just like a rehash of the first one. And I I just, 
I didn't love it. Didn't do anything new and crazy. Yeah, this one did something new and crazy. Oops. Um, this new one had the idea of kind of uh, a mob, which we never really have seen before in Halloween, where a mob comes together to try and stop Michael. Um, you know, and it's it's a good idea because honestly, if you think about it, like. I don't know, I think that just lends itself really well to cinematic-wise. Um, I think it was really cool how... I'm getting into spoilers a little bit, because you probably have seen it. I mean, it's been out for, like, two weeks. Getting into the scene where they're, like, beating up Michael in the street was just amazing, because it was kind of like, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Um, they did a lot of unique camera tricks with this. I noticed that they... They did a scene, I think it was like Little John or Big John. I don't I don't know what the fuck was with those names. I don't know, but that was funny. Um where like Big John I think was like dancing to a song, but each time the camera was looking at him, it was slowly zooming in on him and pulling it was doing like the vertigo effect, which I thought was really unique and something very creative that I liked. Um and there was just a lot of camera tricks with this that I thought really blended well. Um you know, to the kind of the funness of it, um, it was, it was brutal, it was brutal, there was a lot of killing, um, which I think definitely keeps it fun and interesting, because after all, you are going there to see Michael kill people, you know, and so when you see him take this many lives, it's pretty fucking crazy, um, I, uh, well, there was a couple scenes I didn't like just because of how disgusting they were when they find the bodies on the playground. That was terrifying. When he's just holding the skeleton mask and you know that was a little kid. It was just, ugh, ugh, made your little, made your stomach fall a little bit. When he broke the guy's neck on glass, that was terrifying. This was really the most terrifying Michael Myers because it felt like he was just unstoppable, you know? They really did lean heavy into the whole evil incarnate thing, which I don't love, but I kind of do love, I don't know, I think it's just, I think, it, I don't know, I think it kind of makes them just unstoppable, so that way they can make a sequel, but then it also makes it interesting, because now he's unstoppable, how are they gonna make a sequel? <laughs> um, yeah, so, I, I really did like this one. I thought it was very unique how they did the flashbacks to the 70s. Those were well done. Those were really, really well done. I like those. Um, I really, really just enjoyed it, man. It was just a fun movie. Now, my, my kind of more flaws with this, I don't know. I felt like Laurie Strode wasn't enough. She is the main heroine, and we didn't get to see most of her. But it does kind of make sense. Focus more on her daughter, who does, at the end of the movie, die in it. That kind of made sense. Um... But, you know, I, 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 I just say this was overall okay. Um, the whole Laurie thing. I kind of prefer Laurie and Michael going against each other. A lot of the characters. Tommy Doyle was kind of cool to see. But otherwise, some of the characters were were a little annoying. They just felt like caricatures. I didn't like a couple of them. I mean, I thought it was fun because you didn't really enjoy these characters. So when you see them die, you're kind of like, oh, no. But you're also kind of like, hey, they deserved it. Um, you know, there was a couple subplots that I didn't absolutely love. I, I kind of liked the whole mob thing, like, oh, we're the mob, and we're the actual bad people. You know, there are no good guys and bad guys tonight. But it's kind of like, mm, but you're making me root for the mob. Don't try and give me that alter exterior of bullshit when you know that I'm going to root for the... Yeah, uh... It kind of felt like a stupid subplot. Um, I'm kind of annoyed. They had a really good opportunity, I think, um, where they could have done the first Halloween, the 2018 Halloween takes place from, like, I guess a span of, like, you know, Halloween day till 10. And then this one could have been from 10 till, like, 12 or something. And then they could have had just the last hour of Halloween be the last movie, and, like, it be in, like, real time, I don't know, I thought that could have been cool, but they decided not to do that, so fuck them, I guess, and the next one is gonna be taking place four years later, and 
apparently it's going to be about the pandemic and, tr and like, the 2020 elections. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm still going to watch it, but... I don't know, that's a little, it's a little, uh, it's a little strange, my guy, but it's alright, it's alright, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. It's a little strange, my guy, it's a little strange. Um, overall, I thought this was just a fun Halloween movie. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing masterpiece-like. I thought the best characters in the whole movie were Big John and Little John, so hopefully they get to turn. They won't, but hopefully, you know, if we pray long enough, they will. <laughs> Um, you know, I just thought this was an okay Halloween movie. It was something to get me in the spirit. It was nice to have a Halloween movie come out this year after the whole pandemic and after a whole mess of a long time of good Halloween movies. Um, it's kind of nice to have a, a mediocre one, you know, and that's all I needed. I needed a me mediocre Halloween movie just to get me in the spirit, okay? So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Oh, I'm tired, man. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, that does really help out. So, yeah, stay tuned for a couple more movie reviews. I plan on reviewing Midnight Mass. That's very important to me. Um, before Halloween. And then after Halloween, I want to really, really review The Last Duel. I just saw it this morning. Well, you're seeing this. Probably seeing this Thursday. I saw this Wednesday morning. I thought it was one of the best films I've ever seen. I really want to talk about it. Really want to get into it. Why you need to watch it. Yeah, that's about it. So, please, if you haven't already, 